I've uncovered within the past few hours, some really damning information regarding Chris Tyson and a then 13 year old that Chris was allegedly talking to years okay, ago. Okay, last night the video I, I watched did not mention a 13 year old, I don't believe. So this is new news to me. It may be new news to you guys as well. But yeah, this, I don't know what the f YouTube is about a break. I'm not gonna lie. When Mr. Beast uploads a video with her, ago, when YouTube Chris was break. around 20 years old, an adult. Now, before we get into what I have recently found, I just wanted to give a special shout out to the person who originally brought this to light, the person who had investigated all of this and provided all of the receipts and also including all of the information that we went over yesterday because apparently the same person who has put out the information on these new allegations was the same person who obtained these tweets so props to them for all of this information now you guys might recall if you watched all of yesterday's video that at the end of the video we went over a pin comment from a user who actually happens to be the same guy who was i was tagged and i came what yes it's true chris tyson is a creep I started investigating him a little over a year ago and tried to get people to cover this. Nobody covered it. So I had EDP 445 try to bring this. What? Okay, this is deeper than I thought. What the f? Chris Tyson x EDP before GTA 6. What the f? After he made the We Must Protect Our Kids video. He started to become uncooperative, and I f had to find someone else. Eventually, I tried Chris Chan. That fell through, too. Mike Klum's documentary put me in a position where I had to release all the information, despite I f the fact I knew Chris Tyson would delete everything once he found out. Oh, so he actually deleted everything. Oh, so that just proves he's, like, kind of guilty, right? This is all alleged, by the way. Um, but I do remember a few months back when Chris Tyson tweeted about a pred. Kind of ironic. ...has been covering this on his channel, and who's brought today's information to light. And if you guys do remember, in that comment prism went over how apparently he tried to get EDP 445 to... What the f***? ...try to get a pred to expose a pred. What, what's going on here? Is this justice? talk about this essentially to bring more attention to it and eventually after EDP 445 stopped cooperating with him he decided to try Chris Chan and personally if you ask me I don't really know if that was the best idea because as you guys may know Chris Chan and EDP 445 don't have the best reputations nor are they really that credible. Now a little bit further in the comment he talks about how apparently Chris Tyson allegedly messaged a 14 year old and jokingly flirted and talked jokingly flirted talked about sending yeah, nudes to him. Now, just based off of this part in the comment, I found that to be really odd, and I had never heard of apparently Chris Tyson. All right, all right, enough yapping. Who was 13 years old at the time when they were spending my talk to this guy. Uh, when he wait, is this him before the transition? He was 13 years old. Except the problem with that is Chris Tyson started an online friendship with this guy when he was only 13 years old. Now, the problem with that is Chris Tyson was born in July of 1996. Okay. Lava GS was born on November 12th, 2003. The problem with that is that, is that there's a seven year age gap. So when you started socializing with this guy online and building an online connection and some sort of friendship and you know, you talking to this guy playing Dr. Chris Respect. <laughs> Video games with him socializing. He was only 13 years old. He was in middle school and you were in college. You were 20 years old. So that's what I'm going to talk about is why is it that someone who is in college, who is like a sophomore or junior at that point, what are you doing? making friends with a middle schooler so yeah i mean so far what? with only that it's already looking bad like this is definitely not something that chris should have been doing and i'm not really too sure if he knew that like he shouldn't have been doing that in really any capacity at all because at the least it's really 
weird, but it really makes it worse when you factor in that artwork, that quote unquote artwork that we went over yesterday in yesterday's video. And another thing that I think is really important here is that Chris Tyson at the time was bisexual. And it's like, once again, I mean, what are you doing being 20 years old, you know, interacting with people that young? Artwork. It's like, you don't have friends. Like, I mean, we all know that Chris had friends. I mean, for God's sake, you know, it's like he's been friends with Jimmy for how long? Since childhood? Like, it really can't be that hard to go out and find friends that are actually around your age group. Another thing that is mentioned, too, besides the two things that we just went over, is that apparently Prism has also noted that they communicated one-on-one -on -one and unattended. And yeah, that's where this starts getting bad. Like, really bad. If you thought it was bad before, well, just think about bad but times 10. Because Prism goes into detail about how apparently Chris made Prism a moderator and also even worse than that, and I know this is gonna be stereotypical, but yeah, also Prism goes into detail about how apparently Lava had Chris added on Snapchat. Like I know some of you guys in the audience are thinking- Get up. 13 year old added to yourselves. on Snapchat. Well, yeah, it looks like Chris is kinda cooked, but yeah. I got a weird snap from Chris. Oh, hell nah. Brother, ugh. What's that? What's that, brother? Coming for America. Wait, can I watch the rest of this? Is there leaks? And then as you guys can see right here, there's a screenshot of the snap up in the Appreciate left the five bucks. corner there. You can see from Christopher and then y there's a picture of Chris in front of the American flag and there's text that Chris displayed and the text says coming for America like C-U-M-M-I-N-G. And also just keep- So he sent that to a 13 year old. In mind that Lava right here, if you do the math with this being January 26, 2019, Lava right here would have been 15 years old. And as for how oh, old Chris 15. would be here, Chris would have been 22 and a half years old. So yeah, by just knowing that, like why? Why in any context would you send something like that to somebody that you most likely know is 15 years old while you are 22 years old? Like I have a feeling that people are going to argue, well, this is a joke or something by Chris. You know, Chris is a funny guy. He's the meme god. But this right here is not a joke that you make to somebody who is seven years younger than you and to somebody who oh is my a minor. God, he's now moving a little bit further in the what? video, Prism talks about how how Chris and Lava met and that was apparently because Lava won a challenge that Mr. Beast was doing and Lava received a signed knife from Mr. Beast. When he was 16, he was in a Mr. Beast video. He asked Jimmy, how hard do you want it? 68 million people have seen it. What I want what? to start out with is when this guy was- Nah, you can't just go past that gang. 68 million people have seen it. How hard do you want it, Jimmy? In quote. What I want to start out with is when this guy was really young, he won some sort of competition or was involved and he DM'd Mr. Beast on Twitter and got sent a knife signed by Mr. Beast. He was like 12 or something. And it was a karambit signed by Mr. Beast. It was a CSGO karambit. Um, Wait, so Mr. Beast sure, knew about this? That, that seems to be the first interaction that I can tell. So I guess it's one thing for Lava to win the challenge, and that's the reason why they get into contact with him, but like after that there shouldn't be any like connection. They, including Chris, should not have been trying to be friends with this kid or anything like that. But anyways, moving on. Now I'm not really trying to say that this specific screenshot right here is anything more than just weird, but after what we went over in my last video with the drawings and stuff, like it's really weird, let alone having a 14 year old moderate your YouTube stream. I showed the screenshot a little bit earlier in the beginning of the video, but we're going to analyze it now. Chris on March 26, 2018, put out a tweet and he said, I really enjoy playing Fortnite. Wait, you just linked me this tweet. What is this? Flight yeah. always knew Chris was a weirdo. Gentlemen, how are we able to afford this? <laughs> Bro, <laughs> he's just so happy until he sees Chris Tyson. <laughs> Look at the 
view. I'm getting some good sun here. I'm really paid off. Oh my god. Yes, this is a nice bed. Who discovered their next great job? If this blimp crashes and I die, uh -huh. you guys can see just for her to find a new job. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, that was all of our faces at one point. We just didn't say it out loud because we would get canceled. Did you guys want to watch me stream? And then he put up a poll and then Lava responds and he says, please stream again in all caps. Chris responds, thanks dad, you want to moderate it? Like, yeah, I really shouldn't have to tell you why this is weird given the ages, but just why? Thanks, Chris dad. was how old during this? 20, 21? And he's calling a literal 14 year old his dad? Like, I don't know, oh, man, this shit's just nah. weird. Now it looks like we have some more tweets here that don't look too important. So I'm going to skip past those. I'll show them on the screen anyway, so you guys can see them. But then this is where the really questionable part comes in, in which Lava asked Chris on February 14th, 2018, Chris, does she know about your hentai addiction? Like, excuse me? Like, why does- Correct me if I'm wrong. Actually, I'm not going to look up that again. I remember someone told me to look it up on stream and I, thank God I was covering the screen. I think hentai is corn and anime corn, right? Lava know about this supposed hentai addiction that Chris has. Like, yeah. it's really odd that a 14-year-old knows that a 21-year-old has a hentai addiction and these two happen to be friends. Like, why the hell would you tell somebody who is this age, or frankly a minor, weird sexual sh and the things that you're into sexually. Like, this is highly questionable, and I don't know what Chris was doing here. At this point, you already have been talking to this guy, you're already friends with this guy, you already know this guy. And what is he, what, 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 what are you saying here? So you post something that says, guys, we are so close to our goal. Oh my God, one more Patreon and I'm releasing my nudes. Oh hell nah. Oh hell to the nah. Guys, we're so close to our goal. Oh meh God. One more Patreon, I'm releasing my nudes. This y'all goat. And of course, this is some what? poorly made joke. I've seen these kinds of jokes online before where it says, oh, if this post gets one like, I'll kill myself. And then the, and then the person likes it. it. It's, you know, this kind of joke, it says a goal of $3. I want to see if anyone is dumb enough to give me money. But of course, it's only you and this other guy in this Twitter thread. And this is the part I have a problem with. This isn't a group chat. This is literally just him and this other guy that he's been talking to and that he's friends with online. He says, Lava says, I'm your first Patreon big boy. Now keep in mind, Chris Tyson, he would have been, he was born July 1996. So he would have been 22 years old at the time or around that age. And you have this guy who was born in November 12, 2003. He would have been 14. Wait, and of course, all jokes aside, I deadass, I'm not trolling. I actually thought this was Chris before the transition, but it's clearly not now. I thought this was him, but who is this guy? Why is he sitting at a park? He has all the receipts on the park table. Who is this? That's Chandler. <laughs> Here he is. I'm your first Patreon, big boy, which he's calling him big boy. And uh, he shows that he donated some money he donated like a dollar or something so it's not enough to meet the goal and he says but not five dollars pathetic just kidding yo chris thought he had the method bro actually thought he had the method no one wants nudes from you oh brother In kissy face now, I don't think I should have to explain why this is bad. And they definitely really, like, a, the worst look. Especially given the shit that we went over in the last video. And I know that this is off topic. I really hate to go off topic. But the amount of people who are in my comments in the last video justifying the lolly, or at least trying to, is absolutely insane. And I'm hoping that when this video comes out, because I'm currently making it, I really hope that this can help change your disgusting perspective on people like this and their weird king let me let me say something right now if you do not know what lolly is essentially it is corn of underage people and i guess it's legal it's legal okay the reason i found out about this is because a twitch streamer a very popular streamer i'm not going to say names accidentally leaked his lolly files on stream 
I made a video on it a few months back. He did not get banned. That's all I'll say. Things. Because this is bad, and what we went over in the last video is disgusting in and of itself. Now, when it comes down to those tweets where apparently Lava was going to donate to Chris Tyson, I mean, you can obviously try to justify it with a joke, and I wouldn't necessarily say that this is the most damning thing ever, but when it's coupled with the fact that, you know, that previous sh came out that I talked about in my last video and the other things that we're currently going over in this video, it's inappropriate behavior, it's weird, and I'm not calling Chris anything more than a huge weirdo who has had an inappropriate conversation with a minor. But like overall, this is Wait, bad. was Chris in Mr. Beast's latest video? I don't even remember. If he was, he probably wasn't in it a lot because I don't remember. Yeah. That, this, this is the part that I have a problem with, and I'm gonna say this, but... No. If you know this guy is that young, and you've been talking to him one-on-one -on -one online, and you've been socializing with him and making friends, what is this comment supposed to mean? I'll tell you what it means. It means that you're telling him that he needs to donate $5 so you can release your nudes or whatever, and you sent him a kissy face. Wait. Now, granted... How did this just come out this week? These tweets are years old and they've been deleted. Mr. Beast is like the biggest YouTuber in the planet. Check J wait, what? Check Jake Franklin. It was an old friend of Mr. Beast. Jake Franklin tweet. Can I pull it up on stream? Oh no. Wait, the one with Sam from iCarly? That one? Oh my god. Oh, he's actually coming out. He's coming everywhere. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Jake the Viking. He want to talk all that shit now, but look, bum. Big Rib, appreciate the 10 bucks. Holy shit. While we're at it, Chris should tell everyone how old the girl was he was snapping that sent him his first ever pair of Gucci slides. What? Oh, so there's more victims. Tyson deleted all tweets over a month ago. So he was talking to an underage boy and girl. And an underage girl bought him Gucci slides. Then he tweets, Jimmy knew. Mr. Beast knew. Holy shit. I ran a Discord with Chris when I was 13. Edgy, inappropriate jokes were said. That's it. Sending sexual jokes to a 13-year-old is not okay. Never has been. Never will be. Oh, he confirmed the allegations? Bro, this is bad. Wait, can I play this video? What is this? Can I play this? Gumpy, can I play this? What? What is this? Don't know. It, we're risking it. Chris Tyson, old YouTube channel has been found where he shared revenge corn pictures. What? How's it going, you guys? So, uh, recently everybody's been hearing about the Jeanette McCurdy leak of her photo. What the story is, she sent um, pictures to her boyfriend, her now ex boyfriend. What? Hold on, let me make sure I can watch this. Alright, no images were, were pulled up. He leaked them out, and um, she is a very popular Nickelodeon star on the show um, iCarly, and I'll be seen as the pulling of the show. It'll probably be taken off the air. Second of all, um, you'll probably see the photos get taken down at some point tonight, maybe tomorrow, because Nickelodeon has that kind of power. But um, the link's in the description if you want to see them. I mean, I'm not endorsing people. What? Bro said... Oh. Jeanette McCurdy from iCarly got leaked. Go check it out in the description. Are you sick? Bro, he has to be at least 20 here. People to go look at somebody else's private business, but I know that uh, 
you know, people might want to see them, so there, it's there if you want it. Oh my! Uh, first off, what I have to say though is that when you uh, look on the news, you see people they've leaked um, nudes from their girlfriend at a high school, and that little that girl kills herself. It's a tragic story. Everybody calls the guy a bully, but um, yeah, when people like Perez Hilton do it, it's considered entertainment. What is wrong with this? Yo, what? Nah, that's actually so, wild. You're gonna have to think about where the right and wrong is, really. And um, I think it's all wrong, personally. I don't think somebody. Should... But you just put the link in the description. Oh my god. Can I click this Sneeko no, video? Was, Probably I not. remember Chris saying that bad baby cashed me outside. Remember, she's made about $55 million from OnlyFans, one of the a bad reflection of, of American culture. The day she turned 18, all the simps came out of the woodworks to go subscribe to this. It shows like how disgusting um, sex work is, which is just prostitution. But I remember when I was working for Mr. B, like in that time in 2017, 2018, I remember Chris saying like, isn't she hot? Isn't like, cash me outside, I go shit. Like, isn't she like 14? What? Is she 14 years old? Yeah, it's jailbait. And I'm like, what? what? I had never heard somebody say Oh my god, he's cooked. Oh my god, he's cooked. You could Back say to that the video. This is a joke or whatever. What this is bro talk. But keep in mind, this is with someone who's like, who's 14. And this is someone who's in college talking to like someone that isn't even in high school yet, really. Or or if he was in high school, he, might, he just joined it. Um... Oh boy, because well, what, what, what I'm seeing here is- But who is this guy sitting at a park table with a lunchbox with receipts on the table? I'm so confused. He says, wait till my Twitch revenue comes in, winky face. So you're sending kissy faces, he's sending you a winky face, and the premise is you're <laughs> trying to give him enough money so he can get his nudes. Already re really weird considering the fact that this is one of your online friends and this this massive age difference. Bro. And of course, it continues. He says, check again. Dude, what the f is this? And he, he tags you, I think. At least that must be you, or he's tagging you. And of course, he says, I posted some fire nudes for you. Please no share. Oh my god, he's cooked. Oh, are these allegations anymore, or is this a conviction? And this is someone that you're talking to that is 14 years old, that you know is 14, and at the end of the day, you cannot be talking about topics like this with someone that is this young. Even if Chris happened to not have bad intentions here, Chris shouldn't have been talking to somebody this age like that, and that's the problem, at least as of right now. Let alone that Chris is frequently on the Mr. Beast YouTube channel and in Mr. Beast videos, where you guessed it, the primary audience is little kids. But I mean, even besides that, oh once God. again, he shouldn't have been talking to this person who happens to be underage, and he most likely knew that. Keep in mind, you're bisexual, okay? You're talking to Wait, a guy. What? Keep in mind, you're bisexual. <laughs> what? Okay. You're talking to a guy that is 14 and you're in college. And the premise here is you guys are joking with each other about sending nudes. That's illegal. Wait, where's the joke? I don't see the joke. You can't do that. And. Let me just say it like this. It doesn't matter if, it, if you're joking or not. Solicitation is solicitation. There should be zero discussion about anybody sending anyone who's 14 years old nudes of any kind, okay? I don't know. I'm not quite sure if you sent this guy nudes or not. For all I know, this, this very well could be a joke. But you are talking inappropriately to a guy who is 14 years old and to a guy who you know is 14 years old, and oh, that's what I have a problem man. with. What I have a problem with here is the way that you're talking to him, the fact that he's asking you about animated pornography, 
and this is your, one of your friends with online, which by the way, you shouldn't even be friends with a middle schooler to begin with because you're in college. Now this situation only seems to get worse and worse as we go further because on January 14th, 2019, and there was this screenshot that was posted by Lava. Now I'm not really sure where this picture came from if Chris sent this to Lava or if Lava took this somehow or what, but it's captioned, this is a bad way to hide your hentai at Chris02. Oh now, my God, his files got leaked. No, he's cooked. That's it. Cooked. Done. Over. What the f As far as I'm aware, Ugh. that is Chris, even though it's a different handle. But yeah, no, it's just so weird that in context to Chris, this lava guy is constantly like pointing out that, oh, this is a bad way to hide your hentai. Oh, does she know about your crippling hentai addiction? Appreciate and the just five, Julian, like yes. It's, it's just so weird. Let alone that in 2019, this would have made lava around 15 years old. Another screenshot of a tweet that was obtained by Prism here is from November 11th, 2019, and it's replying to Chris and Gamer Sub. And Lava said, I love how I set that embed up so it shows you looking sad. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? I'm inviting this Get your ass. What? Backseat. Kind of a weird comment to be making, especially after all of the things that we Ugh. just went over and the things that we still have yet to go over. But yeah, I don't know. On February 14th, 2020, Lava tweeted at Chris02, will you be my Valentine? Winky face emoji. Like, I don't know what friends do this. Like, even if it's like a normal friendship and it's not like some weird seven year age gap friendship, but like what normal friendship is constantly like this. And I mean, with the given context that Chris was bisexual at the the time and still might be bisexual on top of all the other things that have came out like this is highly suspicious here are some unrelated replies this one is from december 25th 2019 and it's lava saying thank you dad with a heart emoji like just a quick question for you guys you guys in the audience if you're friends with somebody and you're not gay and you don't have feelings for them and you just have a normal friendship say like you're a 20 year old and you got some friends from high school that you still talk to that are around the ages of 19 to 25 just Are for we a little bit of context this? there. Do what you the talk in this way? Do ya? Because I can tell you right now, I don't talk to my friends like this. But I guess also at the same time, I'm not really friends with minors, so. But yeah, no, this is oddball behavior. This is another unrelated tweet that was made on May 12, oh, 2018. Yeah. And this was Chris responding to Lava. And Chris said, thanks, Lava. Love ya. Now, moving a little bit further on. Love I mean, if I'm Chris right crazy. now, how in the hell do I explain this? Lava put out a tweet and said, Chris bullies me. And then he attached a screenshot of some pinned Discord messages with him and Chris. And Lava says, practice with this, at Chris the meme god. And it's a banana, right? And I think we all know what that signifies right there. And this was February sort of, of 2019, by the way. Two days pedophile. before Lava sent this in whatever Discord this is, Chris sent an image and captioned it, Lava's mom tomorrow. Like, what the f***, Chris? What? What? <sighs> the actual f***. This kid is how old again? This kid? It's a kid and you're how old? Like, okay, you could easily say that this is a joke and whatnot, but these are definitely not things you should be sending to minors when you are an adult. Like, again, it's oddball behavior. Now, it looks like a month before that on January 13th, 2019, I know the timeline is like all over the place here, but on January 13th, 2019, Chris tweeted out Lava GS's stream and said, my friend Lava GS is live on Twitch. Go spam lobster in the chat. Now, I really wouldn't say that this is too bad, despite the fact that Chris has the seven year age gap friendship with the person who he's shouting out here. Now, as we all know, Chris is a little bit of a memer. So on March 4th, 2017, he put up a screenshot of what looks like to be a message on a 4chan post, if that's what they call them. I've never been on 4chan or this could be Reddit. I don't know which one it is, but it's a up? post from Anonymous and it says, objectively, the easiest way to prevent a R word is to start consenting. What can I say, guys? Chris is just the meme god. Am I right? Now, I really doubt this has anything to do with lava, but still. Interesting meme you got there, Chris. Now, anyways, moving on. It doesn't really seem like there's too much proof of this, but Prism goes on to talk about how allegedly Chris and Lava met up. Because if you guys are unaware, Lava is from West Virginia and Chris is from North Carolina. And if you don't know anything about that and how close those states are to each other, well, yeah, they're actually not too far away from each other. And it would be super easy to drive over. Pack God x Chris Tyson.
I'm just kidding. <laughs> to that state in like a few hours. Now, I'm not saying that anything happened. These are allegations and Prism is about to do the talking here. But if this actually did happen, that would have been the most insane, disgusting thing to ever happen regarding Chris Tyson. And once again, I'm not saying it happened because I don't know. But if some weird shit like that did happen, it 100% is over for Chris Tyson. I have no idea if this guy, if anything happened to this guy physically. I can only show that there are talking about inappropriate topics with each other. I can show that there is a vast age difference that he should not have been socializing with this guy in the first place, but he did. And the fact that he was able, like the moment he was able to meet up with him, he met up with him in person, which I think is highly inappropriate since he was talking to this guy since he was 13, and he's also attracted to men and the guy's a guy. It's highly inappropriate. The circumstances he showed up in no, this is, is bad. Here we go. So this one's in Carl's server. This guy has receipts at the goddamn lunch table, bro. You know how many kids probably had a great time at this park lunch table? This guy has receipts. Goddamn. Right here. It's a, it's a Discord messaging. Discord messaging. He said, I love Carl, though. I drove from West Virginia to North Carolina. I'm sitting in a camper in the woods right now. I love Carl though. So Carl, Carl is amazing and that is a fact. True, he hugged me before Chris managed to. Carl sleep. I'm just friends with Carl. I don't need mod. His mod team is already top notch. Why do you want to come to North Carolina? Because winky face, winky face. Oh hell Carl no. simps for me. Who doesn't Yep, simp for it's Carl? getting worse. I think we all simp for Oh Carl. my god. I know, god. right? Come to North Carolina, that's why. Boy, that's why. Carl Jedi 16. Carl reading all the simping, like. At Carl, see you Tuesday, baby girl. I'm in a camper on a hot spot. Carl? No, this might be deeper than we think. What the f is going on? Imagine being in the woods. Imagine simping over Carl. And of course, and of course, here is the Steam account of Chris Tyson. It is Estrogen Dealer. And they are both friends with each other. Lava GS. Wait. And what is Estrogen? What is Estrogen? Oh my god. No, there's no way. Whose name was Estrogen? Oh. And they are both friends with Tyson. And of course, here is the Steam account of Chris Tyson. It is Estrogen Dealer. Okay, so what and the f No, this is weird. Chris Tyson's Discord- No, Steam username was Estrogen Dealer. Correct me if I'm wrong. Is that not the things you take to become a woman? This is pre-transgender, by the way. Are those not the pills you take to become a woman? It sure is. That was his username? Oh, hell nah. And they are both friends with each other. Lava GS. And... Chris Tyson, and as you can see here, uh, the games that they played. Yo, everyone on the YouTube stream, get in the Twitch. I'm gonna end the YouTube stream soon. It matches up with the, the tweets that they made. And as you can see, Mangled Pickle is also on there. It matches up with the tweets that they made. Now this one, again, he's gonna have to explain this. So this guy is super young, right? He's been talking to him since he was super young, 13 years old. So. Why is it that not only are you DMing this guy on Twitter, you're Snapchatting this guy, you're talking Wait, what? Are you Chris DM'd me on Twitter asking me to come help him. You're DMing this guy on Twitter, you're Snap. I got a weird snap from Chris. He's a different man off cam. What does that mean? 
chatting this guy, you're talking one-on-one -on -one in a voice chat with this guy, but the kind of Snapchats that, you, that you're sending, this is the Snapchat that you sent. He said, I get weird snap from Chris, and it's a picture of him making a- Wait, was he married at this time? Does, does anyone know if he, had, if he had a wife at this time? Weird face next to an American flag, and it says, coming for America. Okay, we didn't have to zoom in. Now, on. you might think that, oh man, this must be some weird- uh, He was married. And a child. Oh my god, this is disgusting. Bro. Brother, ugh. What's that? Was your wife a cover-up the whole What's entire that, time? Miss, Mr. Oh. Miss Tyson? Uh, this is not good, bro. Fourth of July joke. Nope, it's not Fourth of July. You can clearly see the date right there. This guy would have been like uh, 15 at this point. And uh, why are you sending a 15 year old a message saying coming for America? Why are you DMing a 15 year old anyways on Snapchat? Why are you doing that? <laughs> why are you DMing this guy who you've been talking to since he was 13 on Snapchat? So yeah, we're definitely gonna need some clarification or something from Chris. Chris has to say something. Chris can't be quiet like, like Chris has been for the longest time. This needs to be something that Chris is going to address head on like right now. Because after I put up this video, which I mean, it's already up if you're listening to it right now, it really wouldn't surprise me if everybody hops onto this and it becomes a huge thing. Just purely based off of how the last video did. So if I'm Chris right now, I'm addressing this. I'm proving that, oh, oh this didn't happen or it didn't happen the way that it did happen or whatever or i'm at least saying something i don't know because you can't just be silent about something like this like there's been so much that has been shown of you being weird and having inappropriate conversations with at least one minor you being into lolly and now apparently there are allegations of you meeting up with a 15 or 16 no, year old no the he's cooked i don't think these are allegations anymore oh my god this is bad woods back when you were 24 or 25 like chris if you're watching this because i really wouldn't be surprised if you're watching it you need to come out and say whatever you can All and right, say at it. least something especially if you didn't do this because i mean you already look bad enough having allegations of you meeting up with a minor potentially is not going to make you look any better they're talking about profile pictures he said he put his profile picture as chris tyson from mr beast and a, a, here's another twitter message or sorry, here's another Discord message. He said, Chris DM'd me on Twitter asking me to come help him on Beast stream. Wait, how many and subscribers another... did Mr. Beast have in 2019 when this happened? He definitely had over a million, right? Actually, he, he probably had like 10 million. One, and here's a screenshot of Chris Tyson talking to this guy. This ain't true. And this screenshot is... Chris Tyson talking one-on-one -on -one with him, and at this point, he would have been 16. Oh my god. And here we go. Here is the picture of them meeting- Oh my god, there's proof, there's proof. There no, he's cuffed, he's cuffed, he's cuffed, he's cuffed. These are no longer allegations, brother. This is, I think this might be 120 FPS 4K right here. The miner's face is blurred. Bro, how is this just coming out? Being up together, I'm gonna censor his face. It's over. And as you can see right there, there there's Carl right there. There's Chris Tyson right there. I could say this now. I oh, I always thought these were weird. I don't care. Cancel me. Take me. Uh, what's his name? Miranda Cosgrove right here. What's this guy's name? Um, Quobacop. Dude, what's this guy's name? Carl. That's his name. Carl. I always knew he was weird, bro. Remember everyone used to make the joke, the Carl effect? Maybe it wasn't a joke. Appreciate the prime sub, Larry.
Chris Tyson was talking to this guy since he was 13. Chris Tyson was in college. And of course, the moment he was able to drive, he takes a camper van. So they pre-ordered him. That's what I'm hearing. Out in the middle of the woods. So yeah, that essentially confirms that they met up. Now I'm not really too sure if the parents were okay with this or how this really went. But we have Lava here saying in Discord DMs that apparently he's taking a camper van to a very secluded area oh, in the woods no. to meet up with Chris or the Mr. Beast crew. And then we get pictures on Lava GS's Instagram with him and Chris and other Mr. Beast members. So yeah, it's very apparent that they did meet up in one way or another. I don't know if anything happened or what i really hope nothing bad happened but yeah just given the way that he's been talking to this guy and how chris was into lolly and stuff like that definitely not a good look at all and people are definitely going to be questioning this meetup now i decided to do a little bit of research to find this instagram page and i was actually able to find it and currently it's on private meaning that you have to follow it to see what's in there to see what the person posted but it has the same profile picture and everything and you can see the age that he provided it says 20 and then since I actually happen to follow Chris on Instagram, I really don't use Instagram too much. But since I happen to follow Chris on Instagram, it says followed by Chris Tyson. So oh my God. Oh my God. So was the wife and kids a cover up for Buddy? Like, I'm so confused. He had a wife and a kid. Okay. While talking to an underage boy and girl, supposedly, a underage girl bought him Gucci slides. Then he decides to ditch his family, become transgender. This is... Insane, if Mr. Beast drops a new video and he's in it, it, it will break the internet. Mark my words. So yeah, we're definitely going to need some answers when it comes down to this. Because I'm really not too sure what exactly happened, but the allegations are incredibly damning. And it really is not a good look, Chris Tyson. I know there's going to be people who see this video, and they're going to be like, Chris is a P-word, like a pedo, or like a groomer. We don't know that. That's not what I want you guys to say, because it's not 100% confirmed, but I just- WHAT?! Did he just- Let's roll that back people who see this video and they're gonna be like Chris is a p-word like a pedo or like a groomer we don't know that that's not what I want you guys we don't know that is the thumbnail of this video not she was 10 What do we not know here? is to say because it's not 100% confirmed but I just wanted to bring this whole situation to light because I feel like more people should know about this and the shady behavior that Chris has engaged in in the past and I would really love to see a response from Chris about this because this is damning and it does not make Chris look Yo appreciate the appreciate the 20 bomb I don't care if the guy's a transformer I'm glad he got exposed and I'm glad he's away from his family that kid needs a good fatherly role model. Yeah, I genuinely do feel bad. I don't have any problem with him being transgender, but when you're doing this, shit, it's a different story. Good at all. Now, as for the rest of Prism's video here, if you want to watch the whole thing, that was around like 27 yeah, minutes, bits. I think, of Prism's video. But pretty much for the rest of it, Prism just made a statement and he explained why he was doing this and why he spread this information. And he also made it very clear that he has no ill will for BW, aka Lava. He just wanted to spread this information and bring some light to this situation and the pattern of weird behavior that Chris has had in the past. So, yeah, for the people who would like to watch his full video i went over the main majority of everything but for those people i will be leaving a link to his video down in the pinned comment down below so if you guys want to go check that out feel free no i have more questions it cannot end here brother